Good evening. Clear as mud. That is how one Boise City Council member described the process moving forward regarding the initiatives on the proposed library and stadium projects. And now that a local watchdog group gathered enough signatures to put a vote for a vote on the ballot, exactly what does that mean and what happens next is up to the council. It is a confusing situation. So tonight they brought in the Ada County Clerk in an attempt to clear everything up. Our Joey Prechtel sat in on that meeting. He joins us from City Hall now with what's next. Did they clear this thing up, Joey? Not exactly, Mark and Kim. Right now it's a whole lot of ifs, maybes, and we'll have to see what happens because even after hearing from the Ada County Clerk, not a whole lot got cleared up for Boise City Council on what happens on this potential vote for a vote. I think at this point, uh, the initiatives have a life of their own. The Ada County Clerk taking questions from Boise City Council Tuesday night regarding two initiatives about the proposed library and stadium projects. Even after the Q&A session was over, things weren't clear. As clear as mud. The group Boise Working Together got enough signatures to hold a vote for a vote on the projects, but there is confusion on how the second vote would work. The initiative seeking a vote on these respective issues, that question is still uncertain. It's uncertain because council is unsure if they have the authority to put these projects on the ballot. Before we put something on the ballot, we just want to see the legal authority. And because we don't have something to work with at this phase, there, we need to get through phase one before we can discuss phase two. But for the group that got the signatures, it's clear to them. It's how to structure a vote and the city must stop spending money without voter consent. Back in January, the city attorney's office raised legal concerns over the language in these initiatives, saying they might be unconstitutional. But Boise Working Together says their own attorney says the language is broad. We made our own refinements to this, uh, the initiative language. Um, we made it very broad. These initiatives are not aimed at any one particular library or stadium projects. Boise Working Together says they want the city to take the most direct path to the vote now. Get the citizens a vote, which is what they said they wanted at the time they signed these petitions. Now, the only thing that is clear right now is that Boise City Council will have to make a decision on these initiatives next week. They'll have to do that at their meeting a week from tonight. If they decide to do nothing, then the vote for a vote will be held in November. Basically, voters will head to the polls at that time and answer the question if they will want a vote in the future regarding specific library and stadium projects. But if the council does decide to adopt those initiatives as ordinance, then they'll have to decide to see what happens from there and that vote in November won't be necessary. Mark and Kim? Clear as mud. <laughs> we see that, but we will continue to follow each and every step. All right, Joey, thank you.